What's up my bowling friends? Welcome back to the channel. Got another tournament coming at you today, the Uzalat Classic at Delton Lanes. I've been taking you on a ride. Let's get started. Okay, really quick, I just want to do a preface to this. You know, I don't really know what's going to happen when I walk into these tournaments, so I just do a very general uh, beginning, I guess. Uh, so when we start the vlog, um, I'm going to do a little commentary, let you know the situations that were going on uh, so that you're a little more well informed uh, on what you're seeing. So I hope you enjoy. Great use of that classic. Let's go. So yeah, I didn't quite get any shots of, of game one. Uh, I did shoot 234, so that was really good. Uh, the, lane, the front started to break down here in game two. Uh, I struggled a little bit and only shot 179. So that's what you're seeing here. So this is the uh, game three here. I just shot 179. I'm still plus a little bit. I think plus 14 or so. Uh, so I'm still sitting pretty good. That 234 really gave me a whole lot of confidence. I did make a ball change here. Went to an idle pearl and got really, really deep. Uh, the fronts were just too far gone. It was too uh, a hook or it wouldn't. So uh, one of the guys I was crossing with did this. So I just went with him and it worked okay. Uh, I could have made some better shots, but overall. Uh, fairly good game through some good shots. Shot 203. Alright guys, um, that's the end of the first squad. I ended up making the cut. The cut was 633 handicap. I shot 697 handicap, uh, 619 scratch. Uh, so I had to put together a pretty good block. Had a little trouble there in the uh, second game with the transition, but uh, first game of 230 to 4, that's real nice. And then 2 0 
in the third game. A lot of, I had two really clutch strikes there that you just saw. Um, so yeah, really happy about that. On to the finals. Okay, so this is game one of the semifinals. Uh, I had an okay look. Uh, the backs were starting to go now, and the idle pearl was getting really jumpy off the spot, so I had to be really careful of how I rotated it and where it got on the lane. Uh, I made the cut on the number. I had a really late clutch strike that got me there, uh, so that was good, and then we went on to the next game. So that strike was pretty clutch. Made the cut on the number, went to 9 and 10, made a ball change again, went to the code black, and uh, that was the ball. It was really good down lane, as you can see here. I made a lot of good shots, had a whole lot of room, and shot a really good game. Punched out actually in the 10th uh, to shoot 203. So I, I had an okay game, a single transition, um, but 203 with 9 and then filling the 10th with strikes. This last game, uh, I had an okay look. I didn't make a whole lot of great shots. I struck in the seventh and eighth to give myself a chance because I started out a little rocky, uh, then whiffed a four pin, and then left a four seven nine in the tenth. Uh, so I was the first one out, and uh, here's some shots from that. <laughs> shop guys I hope you really enjoyed that vlog uh, it was a really fun tournament to bowl huge shout out to Delt Lanes and Uzalak, Leon Uzalak and his team for putting on those tournaments we get you know 180 entries uh, for you know a very short duration tournament it's awesome brings in a lot of money it's really fun to bowl competitively on a sports shop with all those people uh, and some of the best bowlers in the world. so hey I really appreciate that guys just want to get that out there um, now how I did uh, it was another great tournament for me. This is my third cash in a row, so I'm bowling really great. I uh, made some really great shots there. My high game, 258. Um, made some great shots throughout that game. I only got one shot in the vlog from what you had seen, uh, but I did make some very excellent shots. This ball right here, the Code Black, man, it was butter. I can't believe how well that ball reacted on a uh, 36, 37 foot Kegel Broadway uh, challenge pattern. Um, Fairly challenging, especially it dealt with how, how much those lanes hook, uh, but the Code Black tamed that break point. Just amazing. Like, I couldn't believe you know, what I was seeing. I could throw that ball and I had mountains of room. It was awesome. I did use Idle Pearl a little bit. 
um, helped me shoot 203 in that last game of qualifying that put me comfortably in the cut. Uh, you saw a couple of shots there, some clutch shots there at the end. And I also used my matchup, not right here right now, another great ball, shot 230 with that in the first game out the gate. Gave me a whole lot of confidence right out in the gate, uh, and I was able to shoot pretty well throughout the tournament. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. This is such a fun bowling tournament to bowl. If you guys are interested at all in the Utah area, this is a must for you guys. Great tournament, $50 entry, uh, and awesome. I took fourth place, another fourth place at the US Lack. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I definitely could have bowled better at the last game, um, but it happens. Three caches in a row. On to the Miller Masters next week, which you will be seeing this vlog when I'm bowling the Miller Masters. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please stay tuned because we're going to have some great content coming from that vlog as well. Until next time, guys. Hey, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in. These are some of my favorite vlogs to film, and I really appreciate when you guys take a look and see me competing and supporting you. So I really appreciate that, guys. Take a look at our awesome content that's coming up. And please be sure to subscribe, hit like, and throw a comment down there if you have any questions for me or need any help. Thank you.